Welcome to MediFacts This Week in Neurosurgery. In today's episode, we are going to talk about the surgical instruments that we use in lumbar spine surgery. One of the problems that we occasionally face in the operating room can be when the neurosurgeons and the scrub nurses do not call instruments by the same name. This episode will attempt to standardize the names that we use for the instruments at the Regina General Hospital in Canada. My guest today is Laurie Stricker, the head nurse of the neurosurgery operating room at the Regina General Hospital. Laurie, welcome to This Week in Neurosurgery. Thank you. I'm going to mention the names of the instruments and Laurie is going to make them appear on the screen as I mention the names. Let's assume that I have got a knife in my hand and I have cut the skin. The next thing that I would likely need would be a retractor, which depending on the size of the skin incision can be a five inch or a 10 inch contravis. By the way, Laurie, what is the difference between the, a Wheatlander and a Cone Travis? The Cone Travers has a joint. The Wheatlander does not. So this is a Cone Travers, and this is a Wheatlander. Uh, thank you. The other retractors that we commonly use in lumbar spine surgery are the Gelpi retractors. The next are the Zelpi retractors. Laurie, is the handle the only difference between the two? Yes, as you can see, the Zelpi has something at the handle that you crank to lock it. The Gelpi does not. The next retractors are the micro disc retractors. They come with blades as well as hooks. Then you have the miscellaneous retractors, and they include nerve root retractor, the blunt hook, cat's paws, pen fill retractors. They come in different sizes. There is a number one, a number three, and number four. And guess what this is? Yes, this is a periosteal elevator. There is another variation of the periosteal elevator called the cub periosteal elevator. The surgeon would usually indicate which one is preferred. There is also this periosteal elevator called the Adson periosteal elevator. Let's look at the things we use for cutting bone. Laurie, many surgeons ask for ronjos as if it were one instrument. Could you tell us about the different ronjos that we use? The initial one would be the bone cutter. This is the Lexel ronger. There is a group of rongers that look like the letter K. They are the Kerrison rongers. They come in different shapes and sizes, such as the angled up biting, the straight down biting, and the straight up biting. The next are the pituitary rongers. Again, they come as straight, down biting, and up biting. Thank you. Let's look at the forceps. They come as straight forceps as well as those with an awkward shape referred to as the bearded forceps. They are also named according to the teeth, in which case you have the toothed 
and the non-toothed forceps. As a result, the surgeon could request for a non-toothed forceps or a tooth forceps. Or the surgeon could also request for a straight tooth forceps or a bayonet forceps. The cauteries, they come as monopolar and bipolar. The bipolar coagulates between the blades. The cauteries, Glory shows what you have for, so I'm sorry, for curates. Show us what you have for curates, Laurie. They come in different sizes. The most commonly used sizes are the number three cup curate and the number five cup curate. How about the scissors? The commonly used ones are the Mets and Bomb scissors, sometimes referred to as the Mets. There is the small and the large. There is also the Mayo scissors, curved and straight. Well, let's uh, quickly flip through the forceps and you tell us about them. Alice, Kelly, Mosquito, Curved Mosquito, Coker. I should have mentioned that at the beginning of most cases, we would have asked for towel clips. We use these for draping the patient. There is this small, sharp towel clip and the small, blunt towel clip. Laurie, did I forget anything that is uh, pertinent to most cases? I suppose we should mention patties, sometimes called cottonoids. They come in different shapes and sizes. Chisel, curved or straight, mallet, cone section tips, small, medium or large. Thank you. We've basically looked at the run jaws. The retractors. I hope this has been useful. If we communicate well using the same language, we will improve efficiency in the operating room. We have also put together a free app for the Android phone and the tablet for surgical instruments on Medifact.com. Feel free to download and use it as you see fit at your leisure. Again, Laurie, thank you for participating in this episode. You're welcome. It's been a pleasure. Have a nice day.